Hi, I'm Dan, and today on my series of top tips, I'm not alone. I've got DIY King Craig Phillips. How are you doing? I'm good, Dan. Yourself? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Now, I'm glad I caught you because you're so, so busy in and out of the studio at Ida World yeah. and things. But we've got lots of questions about the best way to paint fences or wooden things or, or furniture. So where do you start with that? Well, mainly timber outside, like fence panels and decking, for instance. It's exposed to the elements all the time, so it does need treating. I'd recommend about twice a year if possible. And if they've already been fitted, they might have dust all over them, cobwebs, etc. So clean them down as much as possible. If it's decking, for instance, get your jet wash out, jet it all up, clean it out, and then hopefully get it dry. Then you can start to treat it. Then there's different types of treatment on the market as well. You can get clear, you can get wood preservatives, you can get coloured ones, stained ones. There's a wide variety of great colours as well. Say you've just been down the DIY store and you've bought brand new fences. I know you've been eyeing up the new fences here in the, yeah. in, in the garden. <laughs> it won't be long till they're painted. Yeah. Um, do you need to treat those too or should we expect those to be ready to paint? Well, some of them are, are tannalised. You know, when they're built in the factory, they kind of dip with the tannalisation, which you know, should protect them. And it will do for a certain amount of time, but I think prevention is better than cure. Put more on, more the merrier, the longer it's going to last. And then reapply through the years, like every six months, every 12 months? Every six months I'd try to do it, yeah, definitely. Does that just look after it or keep the paint looking fresh or is it a combination of both? Both, it'll keep it looking a lot better because of course you're sitting around in the garden, you want it to look great, but most importantly, you want it to last longer. And of course, it keeps value to your house as well. So our prep sorted, but we need to get the paint onto those wooden areas. And I know you're the man with the right tools for the right job, so do you follow me along here? Because I know something you certainly recommend is the Wagner Wall Perfect. Absolutely, it's a unique tool and it's ideal for spraying any surfaces whatsoever, indoors and outdoors. I'm going to start off with the small reservoir here. It's okay. a perfect spray attachment. Of course, you've got your units on there with the turbine. Once you turn that on, the air comes through the tube. You will have put your stain in there or your wood treatment and basically point it and spray it. It really is as simple as that. You're only holding it about four to six inches away and you're going up and down, left to right. But it's just a perfect way of projecting the right amount of paint on or treatment. So that's one canister, if you like, but there's another one here as well. Yes, this is the uh, Wall Perfect one. Now, this is for the more heavier paints. When you're indoors and you're doing your emulsion walls or ceilings, it's ideal for it. But it's also great for masonry paint as well, smooth masonry paint. You're doing the brick walls outside. So this can be used inside and outside? Absolutely. Something else I've seen you using is this. What's <laughs> this? The extension handle. Oh, I love it. It's ideal because what it does, it gives you an extra two foot reach whether you're spraying the walls, high walls, or ceilings, or even spraying deck and flooring outside. You don't even have to bend over. Of course, you can go right the way down to the floor with it there, put the large reservoir on, and get right up and spray your ceilings with emulsion. Ah, oh, so if like bending over and things might not be an issue for you, you don't have to worry about that, or yeah. going up ladders, you're not sure about that, this will do the job. It's a lot quicker and safer, I find, yeah. Fantastic. Now, we've spoken a lot about big areas like fences and walls yeah. and roofs, but what about smaller areas like, like garden furniture? Yeah, absolutely. Again, you use the perfect spray attachment. I'll take this off here, and you'll see behind where the trigger is itself, it's got a paint flow control. So if I'm doing very small areas, detailed areas, I'll wind that backwards, and then that'll project a lot less paint out. Of course, it still atomizes it, so it comes out as a fine mist. The airflow either side directs where it goes for very minimum overspray. Fantastic, and that can be used Indoors and outdoors as well? Or indoors whatever. and outdoors, yeah. I mean, very small detail stuff like spindles, garden furniture, wicker chairs, wooden chairs, metal chairs. It doesn't matter. Remember, any paint, any colour, any brand. Oh, the garden house is your oyster. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Craig, for helping with my Pleasure. top tips today. <laughs> and of course, do look for the full range of Wagner products available on our website. That's idaworld.tv.